We are live. Just gonna wait for people to come in. That's open. <laughs> Yo, what's up? I see y'all mouthy mouths. Hey, soy boy. That already hype. We just went live. Already. Yeah, what up? Uh, we what just up, got bro? here, man. Soy boy in here. Randy moving this. Fair warning, my they 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 trolls, man. Yeah, he said. <laughs> Move the bishops as early as possible. What is he talking about, soy boy? Hey guys, this is this is like a, a master, a legit chess master. You know what I mean? The best of the best. So, um, just be quiet and learn. <laughs> I mean, take it in for the master, bro. Here we here. What's up, both chats? I'm streaming as well. What's up, chat? I see y'all. Extra cheese project complete text. We are here with you know UFC legend. You already know Randy Brown, right? So we are uh, we're going to learn. He's gonna learn chess. In fact, he's gonna learn chess. With us today, Randy. Tell them how long you've been playing chess, bro. First day out here, bro. First day, you know what First I mean. Newbie, don't know nothing about the game. Yeah, mm -hmm. so barely know the pieces. Barely know, but we are gonna talk about that today, and we are gonna probably you know vibe with y'all for like an hour, talk about chess, and actually try to get you into a real game. We're also gonna play games tonight, so you will join our tournament tonight. That's not a question. Oh, gonna be 30 second games yes it is your first day but we're gonna throw you out there to the wolves where your whole game is gonna last uh one minute so we'll get you in that Listen, I'm ready, I'm he ready, ready. he's ready for whatever, ready for whatever. Let's go. perfect perfect all right bro so uh you can uh, see my arrows right in this uh in this classroom yes, sir. okay cool cool so we're gonna start through obviously first thing you want to understand is the objective of the game do you know what the objective objective of the game of chess is um, what do you think I, that I is queen and take that king okay right. right and you can also highlight too by the way so you know how to how things work uh what i'm doing is i'm right clicking that's how you that's how i'm highlighting these and also i'm right clicking and dragging to draw arrows so you can do the same thing so practice or if you want to tell me something or talk about something right click one of your knights so you can with black like black please okay let's see if it works for you I'm right clicking, but nothing's happening. Nothing is happening. I do see that. So let me actually add is like a info. Okay, try now. There we go. I see an arrow. Okay, there he is. There he is. Okay, he's live, baby. He's live. All right, bet. So yeah, that's what we want. So um, okay, we can do that. We try arrows. Stuff looks good. Because when you're talking, I want you to show me, especially fix things. Let me see what chat's saying. They has come. Randy is learning the game. That was good. Yo, I see it. I see it. Perfect. Okay. So first things first is the objective of the game. You are correct. You don't want to take king, queen. You want to take the pieces. But you play the game to checkmate the king, right? The king, it's all about the king. You're trying to checkmate, right? So I always like to, I want you to look at it as an overall thing of like, what are we doing? And how do we get to it? So you can understand. We can cut a lot of fluff out as your beginner. You don't need to learn. How do I play the knight or Sicilian? You're like, first off, what is that? You know, secondly, yeah, like, what are you talking about? Exactly. I don't know what you're talking about at all. <laughs> exactly. Right. Put it in English. So uh, we want to understand basics and fundamentals. Just like, you know, uh, boxing or like UFC, I'm, I'm boxing in the UFC. So it's uh, you have to understand the basics, like the basic defense, basic punches, basics. Right. So. In chess, the basics here is we want to checkmate this guy. But how do we do that is the question. Is teamwork makes the dream work. This is one thing you want to understand in this game is teamwork makes the dream work. Not in just, you know, chess, but in all sports that are, you know, uh, uh, with teams. All team sports is like this. Teamwork makes the dream work. And the reason why I point this out is because a lot of beginners only pay attention to one or two pieces. Because like, oh, I want to move this. I'm going to move this three, four times, five times. Yeah, that's cool. But you got other pieces and they work the best together. So if you can, if you can definitely have this in your head, bro, you gotta understand that they are all working together to checkmate this guy, this guy, right? So team game, we know, we know not number one, team game. And the objective is to checkmate this guy. Cool. Next thing you need to understand is, and this is a cool one that I prepared for today so you can really understand this is everything revolves around the center now even in like boxing and like martial arts and sports the center line when they say get your head off the center line type of thing in chess you want to be on the center line right so 
Okay. Everything is around the center line. What's the center line? Really, everything is like this, like this little box, little box, little box. So this little box is where you want to live at. This is where everything goes down around here. Yes, okay, you have things happening on the sides of the board, but even on the sides of the board, things on the sides of the board can actually still influence the center of the board. Everything is about this. Right, little steps. Teamwork, objective of the game is to checkmate the king and also central control. Perfect. So now that we have these down, we didn't even talk about pieces yet. We're just talking about basically objectives, strategy. Mm -hmm. What do we need? So we want to checkmate the king. We know that. We need central control. We know that, right? It's teamwork. We know that. Perfect. Now let's get into the pieces. All pieces have different values. And with this, that being said, we need to understand piece value. So you're not out here trading your queen for a rook. Now, of course, you know, that's just a really bad trade. We'll talk about why in a minute, but they all have point values. So they go up to nine, queen being the highest. King is the game, so really that doesn't really count. But let's start in order. How much do you think the pawns are worth? The pawns aren't really worth much, right? Because they're like lowest to the totem pole, but you kind of throw them away to kind of like set up the other players to move into position. Very good. Right. You know, they're like, oh, he's using you as a pawn, you know, type thing. Right. You're correct. Yeah. They are lower. Right. So these are worth one. But there's a special rule that you want to understand with pawns. that when they reach the back, uh, if this gets to eight, any one of them, they can promote. So if you ever seen like, you know, a pawn become a queen or any type of things like that, that's what they're talking about. There's a pr special promotion that happens when pawns reach the last rank, whether that's the eighth rank, if you're playing with white or the first rank, if you're playing with black, when it reaches Basically, touchdown, you can actually promote it to anything but a king. Because you can have two kings, because the game like never end type. So, mm -hmm. yeah, you can't do that. So, pawns are worth one. Good to know. This is why you don't want to trade a queen for a pawn. There's always exceptions in chess. But you usually don't want to make a trade, like take a pawn and then you lose your queen for a pawn type thing. So, pawns are worth one. Next, in order, right? And here's everything. Let me actually reflect it by the center of the board. We'll talk about that in a minute. But... Let's move to the next one. Pawns are one, and then knights are in next in order. So these are knights. A lot of people call them horses, right? So this is a knight. Knights are very tricky pieces. How much do you think it's worth? The knight? Um, I'm guessing the knight is going to be next up from the from the pawns. Okay. What's that going to uh, be? Two. Two? Two. Okay. So it's close. It's three, actually, in fact. Three. Okay. Right? It's three. And then the bishops... Are next after the knight. So, what do you think those are? Um, I'm gonna add two more to that. I'm gonna say five. Okay, close. In fact, they, you know, Bobby Fisher. You know, if you know who that is, Bobby Fisher says they like three point five. Generally speaking, to not confuse you, they just are three as well. So they're like three between three and three point two, three point five. Whoever you're asking, they are the same basically. Generally speaking, we don't want to confuse you, so you call them the same for a long time. Bishops and knights are the same. Three points on this one. So then we going up. Now we got rooks and queens. So what is the rook? How much is the rook worth? That got to be the five. Five piece. Come on. That man about to go crazy. Hold on. Let me push the button in the chat. We got sounds. Hold up. Hold up. Five. He already done. Bro, he about to crush some of y'all, chat. He about to crush y'all. He said five. It's a wrap. It's over. Correct. A five piece spicy for the rook. And now how much is the queen? The queen is... Queen is probably gonna be what, like seven? It's a nine piece. Nine piece. Nine, damn. Nine piece. It's a nine piece. Now, repetition is the key, not in just, you know, in everything, just you didn't get to where you were by doing things one time, right? So, repetition. How many, how much is the pawn worth? Pawns are one. How much is the knights? The knights and the bishop. You said the bishop could be 3.5. Correct. The knights are three. Rooks. Um, and the rooks. The rooks are what? Five and then the queen is nine, right? Boom, that's it. Got him. Nine piece. Yeah. Easy. Perfect. So now you understand that a rook trade. So, for instance, you're playing with the white pieces. White goes first. So you're playing with the white pieces, right? And you trade this queen for this rook over here. That's a bad trade. It's a terrible trade. So now you know how about you trade this knight for this queen? Is that a good trade or a bad trade? Um, for me, that's a good trade, but that's a bad trade. Correct. So now you understand how that would work. Chess is a complicated game because now that we've got the uh, now that we've got the piece value, now we also need to start figuring out 
how they move, Randy. There's a point system, so depending yes. on what I take, I get a certain amount of points depending on what I take. Correct, correct. So if you take a pawn, you would get a pawn. You get one. All right, but points, I want you to understand this. Remember, what's the objective of the game, Randy? What is the objective? Uh, checkmate, right? To get checkmate that game. the king, right? Did I say anything about points? No. Correct. So a lot of times in chess, you'll take a piece and you're like, oh, I got nine points. And then you get checkmated two moves later. So uh, it's so points are cool. Points are good. And it's a good way to literally tell material or oh, I'm up material. So you can win a game based off material. But that doesn't mean you're going to win the game because you actually are up points. The so points are good to understand the point value. But that doesn't mean you're going to win the game. So objective is to always stay on the objective, which is checkmate. So we have to make sure that we understand that. So now all pawns or all, piece, all pieces. This is tough here. Randy, this is going to be hard, bro. But. We are going to get through this. So first thing first is we know we got pawns. We, we got all, all our pieces. You know, you know we got a, a point value down. Now, how do they move? Okay, so all of them move differently besides these eight, right? These eight, I mean, they all move the same. Like the bishops move the same. is the same, right? But these, right, the pawns, these move first. You should move them. Move them first and influence the center. On the first move, though, this could be a little bit tricky, so we're going to practice only with our pawns first, then we're going to go to each piece. And then uh, our objective today is to play through a full game, or at least try to play a full game. That's our objective. So, number one is pawns. These can move. These can move twice on the first move. So, I want you to understand this first. They can move twice on their first move. So, think about this. On move 17, if you haven't moved this pawn, it still can move twice. Because it's their first move. They all have their own first move. On the first move, you can move it twice. Not like on the first move of chess. This is the very first move. Because you yeah, only have, you, you can't move. move. Correct. On their first move. So you want to understand that. They all can move on one. So let me actually show you an example. E4, enter, control. Right? I always recommend places when you, especially as a beginner, you want to play stuff that's very standard and principled chess. And this is principled. Remember, we principle the force, the four, uh, everything revolves around these four squares, the center. So I push my pawn twice. Black may do the same. Boom. Five. Perfect. Now, this is this first move. And this is not very good because how does this help influence the center? Everything's around the center. This isn't very good. We'll talk about this later, but this isn't the greatest thing to do. So we have two pawns in the center here. And then, you know, uh, white can do the same thing. You can move another pawn. You can move this. Just showing you the first moves, right? This one can move up can once. Pawn take pawns or nah? Correct. Any piece can take any piece. Any piece, but you can't take the king unless that's over the board chess in a format called Blitz. It's something that uh, is very fast chess. Very, very, very fast so, chess. So, so, dumb question, right? From no, like, never do any like, dumb questions. It's just like a common sense type question from what a person got? that doesn't know anything, right? Uh huh. I go first and I move two, boom, mm -hmm. boom. And then it's his turn to move, boom, boom. Right. When it's my turn, I could, obviously I'm in a position to take him, right? You are very correct. In fact, but you have to think about how they capture. So this is sort of a standoff, sort of a standoff, right? I think I saw I saw an Instagram where I was like, I saw an Instagram that reminds me of this thing where it's very funny that the, um, it was like when two parallel lines are fighting, you know, and, and talking trash to each other, basically. But mm -hmm. they can never touch each other. They just still like, yo, I see you. Come over here, bro. Come over here, bro. I, I dare you. Yeah. But you can't because that's kind of how these are when pawns face off. Like, they just can't. They can't take forward. They only capture oh. sideways. They uh -huh. only capture sideways. So they can talk as much trash to each other right here. Whatever, bro. What's up? What's up? What's good? What's up? Yeah, you swing, you swing. Like, nothing's going to happen ever. So until when one like of this. us move uh laterally then nothing can happen correct so if you think about this boom what can happen oh now now uh well it's black's move though move. it's black's move it's now move. correct but well, what it, what it, okay. is it black's move or yeah it's black's move okay so yeah so now he could take me correct because he boom yeah. oh he takes you now let me put this in perspective i go here and then he does like oh this is why you always want to pay attention to your opponent's moves. Like, and you know, when you're fighting out there, you're like, what is he doing? What does his feet look like? What's his stance? Oh, he about to throw a right. He about to throw a cross, right? Whatever. You know, you, you can prepare for it. But then they do something. What is this? So now it's your move. It's right to move. We only focus on our pawns here. What you know about your pawns. Right to move. Mm -hmm. What would you play this position? 
um in this position yeah in this position he just pushed his pawn up what would you play based off of what you just realized and know about these pawns from what i know right now i'd probably move up uh to to b okay to b to b two steps up that's cool chat it's always cool to sit here the new chess players he said to b bro to b chat you know what i mean is that crazy? That is very crazy, in fact. But it is. Oh, it's uh. My king, is, my king is vulnerable at that moment. <laughs> ah. Okay. 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 So, so I move to. No. Move no, to bro. Move. No. Okay. So listen. Okay. So. Not my it is, king. This one, like the the, the rook, right? The, the rook, 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 right over here. Over here. No. 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 It's more about. It's more about. Um. Not. Not about the vulnerability because you do want to push pawns. So that uh, okay. there's always there will be, for instance, like when you throw a jab, like you know your body's open type thing. There will be something. It always loose or something you leave behind when you push a pawn. That happens. That's natural. But one thing to understand here is look for, and this is a big thing to say for students, for, for beginners, is look every move. Well, we'll we'll think we'll talk about this in a minute. Text captures and threats. So I think probably I think I, I, think I see it now. What you got? I think I see it now. Where you going? I'm thinking um so three three C, I would take I would take it. There you go. That's what I was looking correct. That's exactly what I was waiting for you to find. But also, we was laughing too because it's always a letter first. It's letter than number. So you're going like, oh, first. three, three C, bro. Easy. <laughs> it's nothing. Like three C, it's a wrap. It's gotta be. Gotta be. Right, so so C3. Oh, correct. C three captures D four. Captures right. D four. So and then you would read you would read that or write that as C takes D four. Right. So that's what this is. Takes D four. But you were correct. You found it. You looked around and you was like, oh wait, no, I have. That's correct. You want to look every move, and this is hard. This is why chess is very hard. Because every move, you want to check. Let's make a move here. Boom. And then you want to look to say, is there a check? Check. Check means. Check. And this is like you know, check and checkmate. There's a difference, right? So I'll hmm. show you what check looks like. Check is when a piece is attacking the king on either side. On either side. But you gotta first realize how pieces move first before you uh, what checks captures threats are. A check like this would be a check. Bishops move diagonally, and this is what they call a check. Let me, I'm gonna just bring out some more ways far? of checks. I Correct. Can move that far? Bishops can, yeah, but we, but we are gonna, we are gonna go to that. We're just going through pawns yeah. first, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, pawn, oh, dang, that's crazy, bro. Bishops do that, yeah. So pawns do that. Now we're gonna go through mics, bishops, rooks, and everything else. So, all right, but first things first, I want you to play black here. I'm, we're just gonna move pawns. We're just gonna get the flow in, like get the movements. So I'm moving pawns, and we're just gonna focus on this. You play black. Let's just move some pawns around. Okay, perfect. Wait, can you take two at a time, or if I did this, would it be blocked? No, you can. It's only one move at a time, so I'm gonna snap this one. Uh oh. What'd you do? You moved. You moved it to where? Oh, you can take. Oh, you can still take it, even though I got one beside it. Exactly. It don't matter. Oh, they like bring your homies. Oh. Yeah, we, we we want all the smoke. Doesn't matter. So so, so I'm gonna do that. There too. you go. Look at him, Chad. Look at him. He's a natural. Natural. Exactly. You see him, Lou. You see, him, bro. Yeah. Hey, hold on. Let me turn my air on real quick. Is that moving now? I can't see his chat. Let me go to his Twitch now, and then y'all could just tell me what to do. <laughs> Yo, Chris, what up, Chris? to get the chat and cheat code uh man, i'm trying to figure this out i'm i'm really excited to kind of actually sit down and learn chess because from what i what i hear um correlation between chess and just jujitsu and combat sports in general is actually you know pretty similar and really close so i figured why not you know what i mean and i always hear the term people say like, oh it's chess, not checkers. You playing, you please playing checkers, you playing chess, you know what I mean? Like shit like that. So it just kind of piqued my interest. And it's something that I've always wanted to learn. And low key, 
my my coach, both my coaches, my boxing coach and my head instructor, like they play all day. Like during fight week, that's they literally sit down and just play. All right, boys, I'm back. I'm gonna turn this air on, bros. It's very hot in here. Okay, so all right. Uh oh, I played my move. So it's on you, bro. What are you doing? All right. Um Mayo, thanks for the raid. My next move, and you said the first one can move twice, right? And we always focus on the center, you said. Correct. You focus on the center, but also ask yourself every time I move, ask yourself what I do and if you should respond to it or not. Um, it doesn't matter here. I mean, if I respond or not, you could take, like, my next move, you could to either take this or I could take this, but if I take this, you're just going to take it with this one. Which would be a what? We call that a trade, in fact. We call that a trade because. You'd rather be up material than down so or you want to keep it even so let's say you didn't touch it at all well yes i'm going to take it but i also get something extra and you didn't get anything for it so you should respond to it by either protecting this pawn or capturing can I move this backwards pawn. i can only move forward great question pawns can never move backwards and only move forward either by capturing or by pushing oh so well in that case we're defending and I can only move linear. I can only move linear unless I'm capturing something. Well, you can only move forward unless you're capturing something. Yeah. All right. So you know what? I'm gonna just go ahead and do that. Okay. Perfect. We only move in pawns, so I'm not gonna touch any of this stuff. Let's move in pawn. Hmm. It's first move. I can move twice, right? Right. Um. Hmm. Um, can I move backwards linearly like that or no? Great question. No, nope. nothing backwards, only forwards. Only forwards. All, every other piece can move backwards, just so you know, so that's good to know. But pawns are the only one that don't have the luxury. All right, All right. you sound like my uncle just now. <laughs> nothing backwards, only forwards. Only forwards. <laughs> only forwards. Wagwan, wagwan. All right, let me see. You know what? Let me just go one, two. But any move I make right now, it seems like if I make this move right here, and can I opt to make one instead of two? Yes, 100%. Oh. You have the option, the flexibility. Only on the first move, okay. though, that they, so if you move it once, you can never move that pawn twice because you've already chose to. Yeah. Right? It, it okay. can only have that luxury on the first move. Let's do that. Let's see what happens there. Um. Oh, oh yeah and i'm not you know i'm not the guy that's like oh yeah take it back nah bro give me those i'm taking that <laughs> i'm not i will crush you every single game until you get better that's how it works <laughs> no i'm not the i'm never going to be like try it again buddy <laughs> no oh shit all right let me see one two very good Wait, I didn't even see what you did. No problem. Run that back. Oh, all right. No handouts, Luther. We gonna show him, Luther. We gotta show him correct. They ain't gonna be nice to him out there, Lou. We gotta show it to him now. Another one. Hey, thanks for the, uh, the five months. Mm, let me see. Let me see. Mm. This will be your last pawn move here. And then we're going to go to the next piece. Because here it's just starting to get out of hand. We just starting to the pawns. Like weird pawn things are going to happen now after this last move. But just make one more pawn move. Then we're going to move to the next piece. One. Let me just go ahead and get this. Let me get that. Oh, okay. There you go. Let me get that other one. Let me get up out of here with that dub ski. Very nice little pawn. Perfect. Excellent pawn play. Excellent. So now we're going to move to the next piece, which is the knight. This one is ridiculous, okay? This one will make your brain hurt a little bit, but the best way to, th to think about it is when we put them in the center of the board. Here's the thing that you want to remember in rhyming and chess. 
nice thing is they say night on the rim is dim. What is the rim? So the rim is like here. The closer the nice. nights, exactly. The closer the nights get here, the worse they are. So tell me, actually, I have to tell you how they move first. Is they always move one up, two over, or two up, one over? Like a riddle. One up, two over, or two up, one over? So if you think about that, one up, two over, any direction. Can't go this way, obviously. One up, two over, and two up. Two up, one over. All right, makes sense. So from here, one up, two over, either direction. One up, two over, or two up, one over. But also, you could go backwards, too, as well. Go backwards like that. Like a, a so eight. night on the rim. Talk to me about night on the rim real quick. So Perfect. If I, if Let's I, think about that. If I'm on the edge there and I decide, all right, I can't go over. Can I use all my use all of them to just go straight up? <laughs> no, that's a great question. In fact, in fact, if we look at this, look at the comparison of these two nights. So I want you to highlight here, or actually, I'll help you with that. Is is highlighting how many squares this night can go to court versus this one? D. So you can't obviously okay. land on a square like it, you have to. The square has to be vacant. But I'm still pointing out that this is a square that it can go to one, two, three, four squares on the edge of the board. So let's think of this night is not it's closer. It's still close to the edge, but it's here. It's not on the edge. It's closer towards the center of the board. So this one's a better piece. So this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight squares. Look at the difference immediately yeah. by four squares if you put it on the edge of the board. So it's important to if you know there's always exceptions some days you need to maybe put it there for whatever reason but if you do put it here you immediately need to bring it back closer to the center as quickly as humanly possible to increase the range of that piece it's here let's go here increase I'm, the range I'm limiting myself limiting right. my ability once i put it on the edge there which is why everything again on these four squares the closer you get them to these close to these squares you have better chances better shots to create things and etc so it's good to understand okay. that. So knights, two up, one over, one up, two over. Perfect. So now let's only move pawns and knights just for a little bit. Then we're going to move bishops and then rooks and same thing all the way up until the full game. So here we go. Pawns and knights. Just pawns and knights only. Five less. Oh, I see what you did there. Um. And I could hop over stuff with the great question. They are, they are, they're hoppers, but you can't hop on. Uh, I see. And you said it is two down, one over, or well, it's two up, one over, or one up, two over, or two down, one over, one down, two. Over. Oh, damn, you just <laughs> lost my brain. Just now <laughs> one, two, right. two, one, one, two, or two, one, always any direction, one, two, or two, one. I'm gonna just leave it alone for a little bit. It's all good. It. You got a bunch of pawns. You know, you got a bunch of pawns. Eventually, you need to move them knights. Get the knights up out of there. Get the knights up out. Of there. Matt, what's good, bro? Yeah, Randy Brown. Yeah, let me pawn exactly. That's gonna be fun. Another one. Thanks for three months, bro. Right, look at he moving his knight. Hold on, let's push the button. Let's get what? He moved the knight. What are you doing? Change just learn how to play. He just learned how to play. That's how they start, man. They grow so fast. Look at that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do this. Can I take this? You can take. Oh, for it? Can I? Oh, I can only take laterally. I forgot. Damn. Oh yeah, you talking about the pawns? Yeah, correct. Diagonally. But it wouldn't be wise to take your pawn right now with my knight, right? Would it? Why would that? Why wouldn't it be wise? That's a very good observation. Because I'm in a bad position for your knight to take my knight. You know. Correct. But that means, what is the piece difference there? What is the value? Oh, the value. What was it? What was the? the you just grabbed. It was five, right? It was, it, was, five. it was a three piece. Oh, three. But still, more than how much a pawn is. Yeah, but I, you said not to really focus on the points too much. Correct. And but knight takes pawn shouldn't be a good move because you are, which is why you, you want to focus on points, but not as much as like, oh, I'm winning because I'm up one, I think. It's so more, not, of, yeah. You need to understand no why. For me to, if there's no reason for me to just come take this, and then get take up. So I'm, I'm basically trading a. I'm gonna trade. Yeah, exactly. I'm gonna trade. 
one that's or a three on, for one for, for for my for my night i don't think that's a good play right there not a good play at all right you you grab and then you think about how much you grab you just grab one point that's cool okay you, you got one grab three, i grabbed three i'm already up i'm already winning that's no right. good so you find another move all right so i'm gonna just do this for now oh i can't. oh i already moved that one all right Oh, you can still take it. Shit, that was a bad move. All right, go ahead. <laughs> your thing. No, it's on you. It's on you. I, I moved see. it. Oh, you moved? Maybe let me refresh. Something happened. Oh, you moved D five. Okay. Okay, look at him. Look at protect, him. I gotta protect. Now, of course, this is a bad move. I'm just gonna take your knight here. But also, which that? Oh shit! Yeah, but also you move the knight. That's very good. Now let's think about what happened here. You do want to think, you know, always watch the field, watch the tape back. After d5, you always ask yourself, what am I doing? What am I doing when I play this move? Um. My last move, what I just did? Me, actually. My move? Oh, you played E5, and I went here. Wait, where'd you go? Do that again? Can you see? Uh, are you, you see this? Yeah, there you see? Go. Okay, now there. See. Okay, perfect. Yeah. I went here. And then, um, what am I doing? Oh, you're about to take my knife. All right. So what should you do about this? <laughs> um, I should I should have moved this. Move it where? Uh, boom. Boom. I mean, I could have. Nah, I, I can go down. I would have went down too. And damn, there's no. Where I don't know. No, you're right. You got it. Down. Well, you you are correct. In fact, I think you were right with that. Sit down, down one. Two sit. Down two. Well, you actually point out every square that you can go to. Remember, knights are tricky pieces, so they can go in any direction. That same down one, over two. Down two over one. Down one over two. It has to be three motions. It has to, okay. It's always yeah, it's always that one that three motion, two and one or one or two. Always okay, that. so I can't just say boom, you know what? Like like the pawn, I could opt to correct. just move once. Yeah, you can't just move once. Yeah, you, can, you yeah. gotta move three. Yeah, you gotta right. move with the right, yeah. Correct. Good question. Yeah, I mean, I would have went down twice and then left. I mean, but either way, I feel like I'm gonna get taken by by your other night. Here or were you talking about going to this square? If I, if, if I if I went down this way, right? This one. Oh, before. Okay, night before. That's actually more forward. For me, it's more down, but for you, it's more forward. If you're looking at it from oh, your so point of view, I can move backwards as well. I can go back. You could go back. Only yeah, these pieces. Oh. Every piece can go backwards. Every piece except the pawn. Oh. In this case, players. I would I would pull back. I would pull back. Pull back exactly. A little pull back. Ninety-seven. Ninety-seven. Okay, fire. So pawns and knights. We move the pawns a little bit, move the knights. So bishops are more like lasers. So the, these are easy pieces. They're lasers, they're like long range snipers. And they're long range snipers and lasers on their diagonal, effectively. Okay. So you can only move on what color squares with this bishop? I can only move on what color square with my bishop? Correct. Think about that. That's a, a deep I'll question. Just, like the dark green. With this bishop, which one? It's not highlighting for me. It's not highlighting. Refresh the page. I'm click. I'm refreshing too. The page. I started the whole thing over. That's crazy. Like it just didn't... okay. So oh, can not, you... not to see. I can, see, see can you see this? Yeah, now I can. Okay, so but this light. right exactly only light squares. And then what about this one? Yeah, hey, you highlighted it. Yeah, but it's red for me now. Okay, what about this bishop? On what squares did you go to? Um, whatever color that is, I can't see the color. Oh, you can't see it. Can you see the arrows? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, so only dark squares. We actually we only say light and dark, really. So if it's green or like whatever, um, whatever the color is, but it's usually dark and light squares. Light squares okay. with one bishop, dark squares with the other. You can only move on your respective colors. So with that being said, you can move any direction, but you can't. They can't hop. For instance, this bishop. Let me actually this bishop yes this is a light square but i can't just move it there it's going to take two moves one and then two 
to get to that square. Why? Oh, because it has to go to the light one. That's exactly. Only lights. Only light. If I want to get to this square from here, it's going to take two moves. One and oh. two. All right. If I want to get to this square, it's going to take one and two like this. So if I want to get to this square, that only takes one. So they're fast pieces, very fast pieces. Knights are slower ones. This is why they give bishops a little bit of an advantage to knights because, or uh, over knights because they're just slightly faster. That's what it's about. Now, can I move it in one move? Can I go boom, boom, or oh, is it's a, exactly. that's one move and then yeah. that's a separate move? Correct, because remember, when you make one move, that's your move. The only one that feels like it's more than one move is the knight, because like, you got to move it up and over. So it feels yeah. like it's two moves, but it's actually, that's just the one motion it makes. For bishops, it's the same thing. You can only go one direction at a time. So wherever you stop, you have to stop there for that move. And then the next move, you can continue around that route, whatever you might have chosen for that bishop. Oh, so off that one move, then they could see and they can counter and make exactly kills. and try to think about what are you doing, where are you going with that bishop, what could your route be, and you might try to effectively stop that with their pieces. Remember, there's we still got to get to the rooks and the queens, right? So there's yeah. a lot to it. So okay, now that we have that knowledge, let's do pawn size bishops. Let's go from the top. Mace, what's going on? What a weird Jam Waldo. What's good? USC legend. What do you say? Okay, look at him. Acting like he know how to play. Chat, look at that. So far, so good. I couldn't tell him from somebody else. That he just learned today. That's crazy. All right. There we go, a little bishop move. He's not even going easy on him. No, Coma, I'm not. If he blunders something, I'm going to immediately destroy him. I'm not. Oh, so far, <laughs> he just, he's doing well. He's doing well so far. There it is. I had to move it that direction. There it is. But no, checkmate. no, that's not checkmate. Checkmate is, remember, that's the king. Lost the queen there. But so far, I mean, you went like five, six moves. Yeah, remember, like, uh, we went here. And that's good. You moved the knight. You found it. But remember one thing, knight on the rim. Them, so that's already an ugly move. But also, it just exposed the queen. Remember, they can move diagonally on these squares. So, but so far, I mean, he lasted like, how many moves is this, chat? Let me see this. This man moved like seven, eight moves. He blundered nothing and then lost his whole queen on national television. But that happens. That happens, you know, in beginner games. But one one by one, like, that was nice. You couldn't tell nothing for like the first five moves. Let's run, that, let's run, run it that back. back. Run it back. Before we get into the other stuff. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. Run it back. Run it back. Run it back. All right. I'm about to do something, but I don't know. Because we didn't explore this yet. That's okay. Like All testing like grounds. The king is going to do something when I, when I do it. Do okay. It, what I'm about to do, the king going to do something. Oh, it's all I testing. Well, wait, the best way to test is in practice. 
to see why it's good or why it's bad. All right, let me chill. This is where it was. It was right here, right? No. Okay. It's for the Ray Jew. What's up? Um. I can go follow Randy. He's streaming right now too, as well. Chat if you want to follow Randy. No, let me shout out you. Randy's stream is on now. This channel. We're in check. So great time to talk about what happens when you check. When check, you want to perform. But it's, not, it's still my goal, right? It is. It is your goal. But you do have to deal with this, what they call it PR. So we, when your king is in check, you perform CPR. They teach you on chess kids. So now, that means CPR. CPR. That's block. That's the P. Protect. Correct. Okay. The first, the C is can you capture the check in you? So if we go back one, if you could have captured this, that should be your first choice. Usually, just look at it. But you couldn't. Okay. There's no way to capture it. The next is protect, which you did a very good job of. Boom. And you didn't do it with the queen because it's about, like, that's a terrible trade. Taking nine, you're getting three and a half because of the bishop. So, boom. Knight d7 blocks it. And then the last thing, the R, is if you can't capture or protect, you run away. Mm. The only thing. PPR. So you understand this. That's good. Very nice block here. Push. But now you can you can still take it because it's on the white, right? I can, I can, but that would be a trade because you could capture me back with which piece. I didn't learn much about the queen yet. Oh, that's correct. You're actually right. You're right. So, but, but you're right. I'm guessing it would be the king to just come and the queen. And stop that. Exactly, king, the king. And since we're on it, the king is probably the worst piece, bro. Ain't even gonna lie. Even though it's about checkmating, the king is garbage. But except when you get to the end game, which that's when all no pieces. But the kings are on the board. Kings can only move one square at a time, and it's a very slow okay. piece. So, one square at a time in any direction. Very the slow. Queen, here, all right. So here's something I always hear, right? Just in, yeah. in general about the queen, right? Just right. in life, I've heard right. it's like yo, your queen can move in spaces that you can't move. She right. can do anything. She can move in any direction. You know like what I mean? drop. You know what I mean? Like Whereas, philosophical. That's what. That's why I'd be like, oh, that's why your queen has to be move certain ways. Yada yada. yada. I've heard people right. always say that. Use that. Uh, terminology so is it the queen can move one square at a time as well well yes correct but the queen is actually the best way to remember this is a combination of pieces bishop so now you already know but actually the queen is both bishops it can move like both bishops can so that means diagonally on any color complex squares or if my queen was over one light squares queens can move on both like a bishop but also the other piece rook how does a rook how many, move? How many squares can she move? Any of them. Any of them that she can get to. Here, this is why. And even imagine this. Let's actually go and move here. Imagine this. Queen goes over here. If this was a clear, because you can't jump over pieces, but the clear yeah. file here, rank, yeah. whatever, like you would be able to swing the queen from this side of the board all the way to the other. This queen could go from this square, if it was available, all the way to this square, if there was nothing on. There's nothing okay. on it. Same thing with the queen. This is what. Well. Easy. So a bishop and a rook, same thing as a queen. Bishop and a rook. Okay. Okay. So a rook is like a, a up and down. Up, down, left, and right. Very easy. How up, many down, spaces? Any spaces that's available. Piece they can jump over is which only that could jump over is the bishop and the queen, no? The knight can jump over the... That's like the jumping piece, remember? Like, the knight can do this, two up, one over. This. But it can pass it? Yeah, like, it's kind of like jumping, if you notice. Like, it's kind of jumping over. You only, oh, like, I jump gotta, or... I refresh. I gotta refresh. Oh, you gotta oh, refresh? Okay. All right. There we go. There we go. So here, uh, can you see this? Yeah. This move here. So if you you see, notice the knight jumps over both. 
this is a, the only uh, jumping piece. That's why they kind of call it. And even from here, you can jump over this one. Like a jump. Uh, this is the only jumping piece. This one can't you know, block. It can't, it can't move because it's blocked. I froze again. Can you refresh real quick? There you go. So here, I can't go this way. I can only go so far as long as I'm allowed. Here. But I can't go here. Something there. Same with this room. They, they move uh, up and down, left and right. You have to move all your pieces out, though, to be able to move. See how the rook moves. Mm. I make move, rook this. This. Round and back. But that many spaces? It could just hop like that? Yep, yeah, up and down, left and right, though. Always up, down, left, right. Like and whatever's available. Whatever's available, exactly. They can hop over things as well? Oh, oh no. Okay, no hopping, yeah. Okay. Here. Yeah, it's like kind of... Got it. So whatever's there, they can just take the space. They just take the space, you know. Take the space. All right. All right, so let's, let's run it. Let's, let's do it from it. the top. Let's run it back. Yeah, let's, let's run, run it back. back. Let's run it. Refreshing, actually. Just, just quick refresh. And then from the top, do it, boy. Let's go. All right. Wait, it's not, it didn't refresh for me. Hold on, let me try it again. There we go. Nah, I didn't refresh. It's starting off, but then okay. in the middle, I have like, I have like two, uh, two All pawns right. in, the, in the bishop. Oh, it's, uh, okay. Let me refresh it. Oh, I see it. Okay. There we go. All right, there we go. Yep. Okay, all right. Taking those. All right. Easy. All right. That was that was a mistake on my <laughs> end. We ain't get we taking all those. We shouldn't do them like that, chat. We could do en passant right now. This is a legal move, believe it or not, that I'm pointing out. But we're not gonna confuse you like that today. Um take and regular move. Nezzy. He about to do 10 moves of the England Gambit. Yeah, he did. He actually played some theory, though, with that England Gambit, right? Or well, Miles, right? Exactly. It definitely is Kodiak. That's why we just don't want to tell him about that. Just learning all oh, like chess is not an easy game. Can you tell me like what everything I just learned now opposite? Yeah. yeah he already he already playing better than players that have been playing for a long time. He's developing his pieces and he's moving he's just okay with well, that one that one, you know what I mean? Like that one. Greatest move. But at the same I time, Chad, myself, right? you know, <laughs> He is getting some pieces out. Like, he didn't play his F pawns out yet. You know, nothing crazy. Like, you know, you don't know yet. That's the ELO for real. What a weird champ, Wildo. Thanks for the tier one, my guy. Brother. But he won the clock. You think he ready for the clock, Sessa? Nah, I'm definitely not ready for the you clock. He ready for the clock? <laughs> <laughs> he said, put him on the clock. He likes B5. He does like this B5 move. That's understandable. We all have a move or that we go. Let's got moves. We go. We get more advanced. You know, what up? You, you went already? Yes, I did. I went uh um on up. Let me see. Can you see this? Let me do it. Can you see this? No. Let me refresh real quick. Man, I don't know why classroom be doing. That's insane. Keep refresh. Okay, there we go. Bugs in there. Okay. There we go. There we go. Um. Oh, I can't move it twice again. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. 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 So yours was D four. Tell them ain't no rest in between rounds and chess. Yeah, you're right. Right. Correct. No rest in between rounds. <laughs> All right, you what up, chess on earth? What's good, man? What's good? Be teaching. 
Randy Brown. First day of chess for him. Now, his position ain't bad, right? I mean, it ain't terrible. It ain't great at all, but it ain't terrible. Like, so the, it's still fight. And you know, it's chess on earth. We don't, uh, because he learned chess today, don't mean it. For his own. And when for the chess, learning from the legs and correct. Hey, can the bishop move backwards as well? 100%. Alright, so you know what? How do I even want to play that game? I ain't even gonna mess with that. Nice question. So what okay, what you gonna do, Randy? What you got for us? I'm gonna do a throwaway move and just see what throwaway happens. Throwaway move, okay. The throwaway. Alright, the little throwaway. Let's see what he's doing. Paints in there. Alright, so I what? See what you do. So I'm actually gonna do a special move here that is called remember the objective of the game is what? What is the objective? Why do we play? They want to get that, that queen. The queen? queen the king. king. Exactly. Checkmate the king. Exactly. So there's a move that we can safely guard our king. You have spaces open. Right now, you're missing a space. But that means you need to get this guy out. Remember, this is a team game. We talked about that before yeah. we even talked about the pieces. We remember we said team game. So team king safety means we need to get this king over to this side of the board or this way if it's cleared out. Now look at mine. Cleared out. A piece is mm. off the back rank. My guy is off the bench, is what I like to say in like sports terms. My guy is off the bench, so I'm about to, you know, I'm about to get out of here. My king safe, which is like this. So I can literally watch what's gonna happen. I'm gonna move my king. If I move it one, it doesn't work. That's not good. But how do you get this rook out without pushing these pawns like how you're doing, which is important. You can get the rook out this way. But the king in the center of the board usually is not a good thing. Something just happened. So can you, I just want to make sure. Can you still see my arrows and stuff yeah. right now? Okay. Yeah, I had to refresh it. Oh, that's what you did refresh. Okay, so castling, I do this. If I move my king over twice, look at that. And the rook just jumped over. That's crazy. Let me try that. Let me show you that again. King moves over. And I want you to practice this too. So actually, we're going to do this. I want you to move these. This is your next two moves. I want you to do this. This. And then move the bishop here. Sorry. Here. You see the arrows? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Here's your next two moves. So do that. So I'm going to do that. Go here. Wait, I, I think it's your move now. Hold on. Let me refresh. Okay. okay. Can you see? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You see it. Perfect. You played that. Then castles. Now you. Perfect. Now your next move's here. Distracted king. There you go. Look at you. That man got the same king. Child, don't push the button. Hold up. He got the same king. What do you know about Castle? Look at that. So now. So why, did it move off? why did it move automatically? Because this is a rule that actually is just in the game. It's for you okay. to actually make your king safe. Because in the center, this rook is hard to get in the game. And remember, how much is the rook worth? The rook. Shit. The rook was worth. Three and a half? Or? Nope. Three and a half is another piece. What piece is it? Let's go in order. On. The rook is five. Rook is five. Correct. So if a rook is five, it's hard. you need to get this boy in the game. It's like a you know a, a shooter on the team. Like You need to get him in the game. So how do you okay. get him in the game when he's locked in like this? Like Let's go back a few moves, right? Look at how locked in this guy is, especially even the start of the game. Look at this guy. How are you getting a five piece in the game? So a good way to do that is actually getting your king safe and also activating this rook. So if we fast forward, I'm just moving back here. If we fast forward, and you went with e6, seven. You don't cancel this king. Boom. Oh shoot. Okay, there's a refresh. Perfect. Refresh. Castles. And then castle the king. Perfect. And then your rook get in the game. All right, perfect. Oh, last thing. Is queens okay? So I think we've already. So let's do rooks. So let's do another game. Oh, one other game. Let's refresh. I'm refreshing, and then you just do the same. We gonna we gonna get every piece into play, even with the rooks, and then we gonna do queens, and then we are gonna get a full game, chat. We are gonna get one full game. Get it? Andy Brown undefeated. That's right. His chess career undefeated. No one has ever beat this man. Okay. Well, for now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go. You see this move? Uh, it's refreshing still. I'm a little behind. It. Oh, yeah, same. Same. Okay, I just refreshed again.
Yep, there we go. I see your first move. Yeah. Um. Ah no. Yeah, yeah. I'm not even I'm not even about to like let you slide. You think I'm no nah, thanks, Randy. Appreciate the generosity, uh, my guy. Appreciate uh, it. Shit. Thanks, bro. Thank you. Oh man. Alright. Let's see. Get this going. Get that going. How going? There we go. Come on, Chad. Let's get a round of applause for Randy. Randy then got all his pieces up besides the bishop and the queen. But this is very nice. So far, so good on the first day, chat. And knowing some knowledge here. Now, the best way to actually really get good at this is you got to start getting out there and sparring. In fact, somebody says, this is like sparring. Get your headgear ready. You're correct. You're going to have to go out there and start getting your head cracked or out there swinging back at people like you are already used to this, right? So, you know, now you got to actually get out there. But we got to uh, we got to look at queens too. So, queens. Okay. Queens are a combination of the bishop and the so. As we showed before, we're just going to move the queen around a little bit so that we can kind of understand just what it is. One thing that you want to shoot for very quickly is when the rooks, you want to think of them as like brothers or your two fists. When you put them boys together, they dynamic, which means get the bishop off the back, right? And then, okay, so look at my two fists here are together. Now, I do want to move this oh, one closer. Let me, let me refresh real quick. Yeah, refresh. Not yet, not yet. It's not, I'm like a little behind. Oh, I see the arrows now, yeah. Okay, so, dang, boy, this boy went back. So, uh, last thing we're going to do is queen. So, queen, we want to show the two fists once again is like this. Seven. Fists are like your rooks. When they're connected, they're connected, the things happen. That means that you have developed your whole piece, all your pieces. Your bench. Like, imagine, and I always like to use the basketball here of like, if you don't get these rooks to touch, then you're kind of like playing with three or four guys out on the, on the court. You need like, or you have a team, like this is why you have a five man team, you know? So you do this to get them out. So now that you at least, yes, of course, there's still a lot of work to do, but you at least know that you got guys to help you do is yeah. get that off the back right. This is a very important thing. So uh, this queen, you know, obviously moves like a bishop and a rook. This is rook movement. Let's move. Boom. Rook movement, I'm just gonna make random moves. Queen. Bishop movement. Rook movement. So any piece could take any piece. Any piece could take any piece. Any piece. Okay. Except you can't. I'm, take like, the I'm a little worried about moving the queen around like that. You should be, in fact. The queen, a very good, that's a very good like intuition thing that you have, which is good. And queens, queens are valuable, so you should use them kind of last. You'll actually see, let's do a refresh, and I'll show you in the beginning how people use the queens. It's a bad thing. You're going to see this in your game. So when you start playing, they're going to do this, and it's going to be a problem for them. But I'll show you what you're not supposed to do. So refresh the page, and then we're going to show you. What a lot of people do here is actually, you can make a move with black. Uh, I refreshed it, but it's like yeah. lagging. So it's going to wait a little bit. Let me hit it one more time. There we go. It's coming out. All right, so you said, do I now move to black? So what people will do is, this might scare you immediately. Boom. Like, whoa, hey, bro, chill, man, chill, bro, relax. What you doing, my guy? 
this actually is a legit move. But you shouldn't move your queen out this early because it's vulnerable attacks after you. Basically, a guy that's brawling at you, a brawler, he's just out haymaking, swinging at you. You just dodge and then you swing it and like, okay, then you catch him with a... This is kind of how you look at this. This queen h5 is mm. just a very aggressive move. Doing. They want to take this pawn with the queen, check this thing right here. Also, the next move is going to be bishop here, checkmate you. It always takes, I'll actually show you an example that you just make a move in the pawn. Now, queen takes pawn. Well, you gotta take that queen. Perfect. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. So, bishop here, boom. Tell him how to flip the board to see it from black side. Are you looking at it from white side? No, no, no. Yeah, if for me, I. You see I, it from white side. I see it from white side. Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. He's actually playing, playing from, like, like, from both sides. The man's brain is insane, bro. You know you can flip the board. Click. Uh, I didn't even know that. I, I'm playing from black from the top. I'm playing from the top. Man, <laughs> this guy is a legend. Learning chess from the other side? My guy? How do I, how do I wow. flip it? Okay, so you can click X on the keyboard. I think that flips. Not X. X does it. Click. Oh, well, that's good to know. Wow, he out here from the chat, you know what I mean? He about to be next level. Got another Tyler oh, one over here. That's crazy. Okay, so yeah, this type of thing here is, um, this is bad, right? Queen takes F7. This is what you're going to run into a lot. This is checkmate. Boom. Remember, kings can take, you, you can take this if it wasn't protected. Even if you try to take it, it won't allow you to. I got to refresh. I'm a oh, little behind. I don't know why yeah. I started doing that. That's, like, I know, lag, exactly, lag. lag sometimes, Dakota. Who do you think he is, Hikaru? Exactly, and he don't even know who Hikaru is. And he, that's crazy. crazy. That's funny. I wasn't even thinking about it. I just figured that's just how it is. <laughs> like, all right. Got to attention right here. Okay, so, uh, can you see this, this last move? Yeah. Okay. So, random move from black, A6, and then checkmate. Game's over. Can't even take it. See, the bishop is defending the queen. Teamwork. Make the dream work. Always. You can checkmate with one piece, but those are the rarer checkmate. Wait, why Why wouldn't I be able to checkmate it with my, uh, why wouldn't I be able to take it with my, my knight? Tell me. Why can't you take that with the knight? A knight's move. Oh, shit. Yeah. One up, two lateral, or, or two right. lateral, one Just up. Just miss them. Every area. Can't touch it. Hmm. Hey. So, all right. So, here's a, let me give you a hypothetical situation here, right? So, say, say you took it, right? Go ahead and take it with the, with the bishop. Can't. I mean, oh, yeah, it can't be taken. Can't go, take ahead and move. go ahead and move, right? No, no, no. Not put the queen back. Now go ahead and move the, the knight. You can't. They won't allow you to. You see how it's making that noise? You can't hop over anything. Because it's mate. Because the king. Oh, hold on. It's, uh, that's my move, right? So let me see. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're right. It's I over. You here. can't do nothing, bro. Now, in real chess over the board, you can get away with that. You can just, like, move something. And they'll be like, all right, unless they know it's checkmate. Then, like, but you can just so keep moving I, like it's not checkmate. Right, so what if, I, what if I decided to do it? Right, it's your goal, right? Uh, no, it's all right. The game's over. Checkmate in the game. Oh. That's it. They like start a new game, bro. Damn. Over. When this happens, which you you'll see some of this. You'll do it on your end, and you'll get some of this yourself back. But the game immediately ends, and actually, it's gonna be a, it'll, it'll be a pop up. Actually, this is just real time. Like here, we're not seeing it, but when you start playing your games, it'll be like boom, game's over. You won, or it's gonna say you got checkmated, or did it tell you? Mm -hmm. But here, it's just like uh, trying to figure it out yourself, which is the hard part. So, all right, let's do this last part. Last part. We're going to play every piece. I want you to move every single piece, and I want you both, I want to see both your fist up, meaning the rooks are touching with a castle king. Let's see if we can do it. Refresh the page. Come on, let chat. Let's get the bets going. Do you think he's going to do it? Randy Brown, do you think he's going to get it, chat? What do you think? Probably right, not. Be night. Probably not. Hey. Place hey, your chat, bets, chat. Y'all don't know who this guy is. Right? This guy is one of the best in the world. It's like the guy to learn chess from if you're going to learn. I, I'm, I have the privilege of learning from one of the best in the world right now. So um, there's no way. I say that to say that there's no way. <laughs> I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to even 
get to probably like five moves, but we'll see. Let's we'll see. So chat, let's go. All right. And don't take it easy. I want no, nah, we ain't. I want I want you to play something crazy. I dare you. Um, hey. Go. Oh, Sicilian. What do you know, Chad? Did he just swindle us? That's a Sicilian. Swindling us? The Sicilian defense. Actually, let me let me do this. I'm oh, getting hustle man. right now. Scott. I can feel it. I think I'm getting hustle. Let's see his next move. I'm going to keep it like this because this is how his I next started. Move. Um. A5. Wow, that's some there. I ain't never seen that in my life. I have never seen this is some secret. You know, Canada's next week. So next week is a big tournament where all the uh the players are playing to play against champion. Feels like this came out of some world champion. I ain't never seen it in my entire life. Queen A5 does stop my natural movement. I'm gonna play C3. I'm I am I don't know what he doing, chat, but we about to see. I take a five billion. The city defense rude boy variation. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Staying biscuit. That's great. Hey, D six. Not even, man. I'm out here trying to survive. <laughs> it's an Alabin transposition. Exactly, right, Chess Fool? He played an Alabin transposition. Six. Got to see the follow up. So far, so good. If he playing somebody, they wouldn't know. I see six. That is not a bad move. Okay, let's go D5. If you pay attention. Here now, I mean, I don't know, bro. He moved the knight. I can't believe this. He just learned today. All right, he cheating, Jack. That's what they say. Thanks. Wait, why did my knight turn white? Oh, uh, because I, because <laughs> I just captured it. Oh <laughs> shit! I didn't even see it. Oh, I'm not taking into account the 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 one up two two lateral. Two over, lateral. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, all right, all right. That's, that's oh man, he's like, "Why that boy turn white, dog? I never seen that in my life." Well, of course, you always look for remember checks capture threats because you see a check doesn't mean that you play a check. Checks captures far so good. I think your best move actually capturing back. One thing you want to do is think about when I captured some material. Are you able to capture that material back? So I just took a knight mm -hmm. from you. And you could have captured it back. I missed it. You yeah, missed, I missed it. it. Correct. Correct. No, we're not going back. If you know a little sweetheart, here you go. Take it. You know, you're going right. to take that do one too. Do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. That but And he just got white knighted. Funny. Back to night. Okay. Look at him move the rook. He moving every piece. That's awesome. All right. Um. And it can cancel. Yeah, that one we haven't done yet, but you know, we just learned the game today. Learn the game today. Uh, every piece moving, all the pieces. Give him a break. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, so 
Damn. I just I just figured something out, so like rank. You aren't giving him a break. You're correct. You're correct. I'm not at all. I think. Damn, why that? Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a <laughs> that is a queen, my yeah, guy. I didn't even see that shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn! <laughs> that's gonna be a long day. It's gonna be a long oh, day in the office. Yeah. But oh, that was wicked. I, I didn't even see that. It just happened. It I'm just like, happened. Yeah. It does, and it happens very fast when it. You know, but you know what's, what's getting up. me? I keep forgetting. The way that the the knights can move, yeah, That's yeah, bro. One up, two That's over, or two up, one over. It's like a you know throw the one two or throw the two one, which I don't even know what that is. Like cross, yeah, that's weird, but you know that's usually how it is. One to two or two is the ones. Like, like I was, I was gonna do this, right? I was uh, gonna do this. Okay, very good. But then I, but then I realized that you could do this. <laughs> like, correct. You could do this. Correct. Knight takes a six. That's exactly what I was gonna play. Or take with the bishop oh, and then play right. queen h5 check. Eight of you. Very nice. Ooh, you're thinking that far ahead. Oh, God, easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, 986 right. was funny. Bishop takes, takes. Bishop b5 check is nice. Eight, queen h5, and then I can take h6. Nasty. That's very cool. Oh, snap. So, but so far, so good, bro. I think we can end it there. What we're going to do, though, is. Yo, it's time for you to play, bro. So you can play some games. I would recommend, in fact, here's what you do on your account is you're going to go over to the left hand side and click mm. play. Click play. Actually, don't even click it. Just hover over it. Hover okay. over it. And then the first thing you see, it says play, computer, tournaments, all those stuff. You're going to click the play tab with that. Okay. Then when you click the play tab, I don't know what up for you, but you want to change the little, there's a thing, there's like a timer. What does the time say? 30 seconds, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Perfect. So we want you to default you at 1510. So click the thing and try to find 1510 under the rapid set. Okay. And you want to spend time playing games there of everything we just learned. And you need to get reps in because it's, it's easy to forget things. Obviously, you, know, you can always hit me up so we can uh, refresh your memory on stuff. That can too as well. But 10 is the best. Yeah, 10 is good, but he needs to think. He's a brand new player. He just learned today. So, you know, 10 minutes, you know, he think for three and then he, another three minute think and then he playing blitz. Right. So we need 15 10. I would recommend 10, two games a day, at least on this. And then if you have more okay. time, then you can do some 10 minute games afterwards. To try to increase some speed. But right now you want to get in the habits of getting the flow, moving pieces, remembering, oh, snap, the bishop does move like that. You know, oh, man, I got made it. What happened? Right. You and I can rewatch this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rewatch this VOD. Our you know what I mean, and see and see what you know. Pick what I can remember and retain, and all that. And my biggest thing is, I'm gonna I'm gonna sneak up on my sensei and be like, like hey, hey man, you wanna play? You play chess, right? Play chess, right. <laughs> That's long. I remember I actually did that before. I went to somewhere, and I always would be like, oh, white goes first, right? That's my favorite thing to say when I'm about to go <laughs> somewhere and they don't know who I am, and I'm like, oh, white goes first. Okay, cool. So you're hundred a game. All right, let's do one fifty. Oh, damn. <laughs> And it's not, it's, it's always fun to do that, bro. It's always fun. So, but at the same time, bro, um, good to meet you, man. Good stuff. If you need anything from me, we're about to shout you out. Let me know. Um, we're going to shout him out. Guys, go follow and let's say, let's give a congrats and like some hype for Andy, guys. Let's do it. Go over there to hit him with the follow button. Um, Thank you. Appreciate you guys, man. There we go. Go follow him right now. He's still streaming chat, so y'all can go follow him. Yeah, no. Oh, hey, shoot. My bad. My bad. Sorry. That's not it. Shut up. Touch and go 170. Wrong channel. 170. Yeah. Touch. I was like, that doesn't look right. Touch and go 170. Here we go. Boom. There it is. Guys, no. Uh, what's your record, Randy? I think it was like 18 5 or something crazy like that. Yeah. yeah I think I'm 18 and 5. 18 and 5, Chad. Nasty record. UFC fighter. You know what I mean? 18 and 5 is pretty, pretty sick. So, uh, anything you want to say to us, man, before you get out of here? 
Nah, man, I appreciate you. I appreciate the time. I appreciate the chat. You know what I mean? Much love. And I'm definitely going to be hitting you back up because um, this is really interesting stuff. And I, I'm definitely going to keep it up and try to see how good I can get. You know oh, for I mean? sure, bro. We'll get with you, man. He said, who you fight next? Say in the chat over next, here. Next, um, my next fight should be a uh, top 15 guy. You know what I mean? So I'm just, I'm just waiting to see. But looking like June, maybe. Hey, like June, we'll be looking out for it. Does the chess master stream? We actually are gonna do our regular stream now. We actually are gonna. That's tonight. We are about to be playing some thirty second games in about an hour. You can actually play or watch how that in. goes. I'm gonna watch. He about to, all right. Let's get it. I'm you know what I'm saying? We gonna be swinging whole chat, all I'll chat being there. Games here, and then I'm, I'm <laughs> shooting over there. To shooting over there. All right, bro. For sure, man. Look, uh, I'm gonna stop my stream and then reset up for the stream. So chat, we'll be back in like three four minutes. We are gonna reset and come back with the regular stream for the night. All right, Randy. Out to you. Out the chat. Yeah, I'll be back in like five minutes. Next one. All right, Randy, I'm going to hang here. Peace, bro. Hi, bro. Appreciate you.